video. You're doing a video? Yeah. What are you doing a video of? You're painting. And yeah. why do you have to paint it? Well, I like the color. I've always liked to paint. And, uh, there's different ways to add color to prints. But I love the watercolor. So, and I love printmaking, so it's like... Doing the two things together, it's yeah. just super fun for me. Why do you like to paint so much? I don't know. It's a good question. I know I like watercolor paints a lot because when um when you when when you uh, put the watercolor paint on the brush and then put the brush to paper, you kind of have to let go of a lot of control because watercolor kind of does its own thing. A lot of times and it gives a lot of unique textures and colors and blends of color okay. yeah it's a good question what do you like to paint the most I don't know you don't know it would be fun to paint mystery mosaics mystery mosaics yeah you like that is that the thing with the uh, with the colored pencils you got for Christmas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got the first. See, so you, you got the first one red. What's the next color gonna be? It's gonna be yellow. No. Yellow. No? What about orange? Orange. Right, orange. It goes in the sequence of the uh, the rainbow: red, orange, yellow. Green and they go violet. Good time to make. What is this called? What is what called? The con the songs. I have no idea what we're listening to. Wait, is this? Um... <laughs> I know. Wait, this is Frozen Two music. Oh my goodness! Is it really? Yeah. Well, that's just fantastic. Alexa, what is this song called? This is Mystery Mosaics. These videos are specially presented by Christian artist and art director. Well, that's awesome. I like how you do the whole rainbow. How I do my rainbow is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Mm. So I do not. Sounds pretty. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like that's how you're supposed to do it. Look at that. Cool. And I'm using just plain old Crayola watercolors on this one too, which is fun. You can spend a lot of money on watercolors, and that's cool. I really wish I, I could do. help you, but no. You are helping me. Well, like paint, but. Because I can do the watercolors. Tell you what, once I finish a couple of these, I'll give you one to paint too, okay? Okay. Deal? Yeah. And you have to video it. I have to video you painting it? Yeah. Okay. Deal. Using a dark green, well, like kind of a, a lime green type together. Yeah, it looks like a future green and kind of like a lime green. Mm -hmm. It looks like a lime green. So, like about watercolors, you can take two different kind of types of the same color, like two different kinds of green. You can combine them together and the watercolor will like blend and mix and do all kinds of things that are unexpected and fun. And then when it dries, it really shows the texture of the paper really well. I like that too. And 
then what's next? Blue? Blue. Nice. What do you think, Andy? You like it? Yeah. I've seen this design like a yoga mix. You recognize it? Yeah. There's an indigo, which is blue with a little bit of violet. Then you're gonna do violet? Yeah, then last we do just violet all by itself. Alright. And it goes like a darker, darker blue. Which circle? Hmm? Which circle? This one. Okay. Pick up a little bit more purple and just kind of mix it in there. Darken it up a little bit. When it dries, it'll be nice. It'll, you'll have like different types of blues and indigos all mixed together. It'll be sweet. And then finally, let's do indigo. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. I'm using two different kinds of purple too. It looks like. And if we were using, if we were doing a color wheel, you know what color would come next after violet? What? Red. Oh. What did you do? I got color where it wasn't supposed to be, but this is pretty good paper, so it's easy to wipe it off before it soaks into the paper. Which is nice. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Ta da! From red to orange to yellow to green to blue. To blue. Blue. Indigo. Violet. Mm-hmm. And then a 